Hello motivators, welcome back. We missed you. Did you miss us? You probably did, okay? Because we love y'all, okay? But um, we finally, oh, I broke the fear. I was starting a makeup look and I didn't want to film because I feel so weird and awkward. But we're gonna do it anyways. All right, because we have to try on some new makeup. New makeup, all right? And we have Alien Cosmetics, the palette I'm gonna be using today, the Strawberry Milkshake. And I did start already, but look at these beautiful colors. I mean, the art alone got me, but the shades in here and the way they feel and swatch is amazing, okay? And I used the uh, stem shade right now, and we're gonna use several indie makeup that we have been eyeballing. So we have the Alien, I'm gonna use um, the Sugar Pearl Blush today, a Denissa Mavericks Cream um, Bronzer we just got. And when I say we, it's me and my sister. My little sister, we started an Instagram for beauty news online and we're doing YouTube because we love sharing um, great deals that we get and great indie brands we find because now we're obsessed with indie brands and like mainstream brands are like, it's like they got nothing. I mean, the art from Alien Cosmetics alone has me like, what in the world? I haven't tried, we're gonna try Alien Cosmetics um, right here. These highlights, they're really meant for deeper skin tones. New lashes, I mean, look at this. This is so cute. And when I think of Alien Cosmetics, I think of Aliens. And I love that the art is matching the brand. So, and we're also gonna use this blush. I love the Sugar Pill, like, this is cute. It's actually small. I don't know why I expected it to be bigger in real life, but it's actually cute and fits in the drawer. So, here we go, let's get started. All right, I already messed up by putting Juicy right here further out I wanted to put green already messing up but you know what I'm still gonna put green right here with this small um, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush of the J1142 and I'm just gonna go basically creating a wing since I already messed up I'm supposed to blend it and I already prepped my eyes with the Urban Decay um, eye primer and I'm gonna go a little bit more up since I have hooded eyes you see the shape I'm creating so it complements my eyes everybody's gonna be different and this eye is like weirdly shaped because I have astigmatism so it's not shaped like my other eye all right I'm creating that I kind of like how this looks up here and then the Juicy shade right there. Just blending it out. So it looks good. There you go. I'm gonna wipe off this brush and just put a little bit more juicy. I do have a little bit of fallout, not much. Wipe it later. That's why I do my foundation later. I'm gonna take another brush and continue to put oh, continue to put juicy all over the lid because I want to use some shimmers. I'm gonna use a small flat brush just to make it more precise. All right, I'm thinking I'm looking like a strawberry now. So I think I wanna put the cherry on top a little bit more right here. Then a little bit of ripe. All the shimmers look good, okay? So I'm gonna use a uh, Too Faced glitter glue. I would've used the next one, but I got this uh, from one of my birthdays still haven't run out of it so it actually does work so i'm gonna lay all my shimmers down cherry on top oh wow beautiful shimmer i don't know if it's picking up i think i'm gonna stop right there and put a little bit of ripe And maybe strawberry shake. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll probably use the fresh shimmer down here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put mascara on. I want to put my lashes early, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put these lashes on. This is so cute. As they're called Heart. Looks so amazing. So look at I me, mean, look at this packaging. Really cosmetics, I took it out, but 
these lashes are colorful they're like pink and like purple at the end and i think this goes is gonna go good with this crazy look i have so i'm gonna put mascara and i'll be right back i'm gonna try to find some white eyeliner see what i can do okay motivators i found my white eyeliner from ColourPop, and it's called graceland it's actually pretty white i don't know why i was expecting it to be like streaky and pick up the eyeshadow but it didn't so pretty happy about that and to get one side even is so difficult with the other side especially when you have two different like eyes that like seriously one's like smaller than the other it's annoying but okay this palette i love it i mean i had no issues and i think i only used i mean i didn't use two shades out of the whole palette so i didn't use fresh or whip whip very soft this swatch so pretty so next look i'll probably try to use incorporate those but i have used one two three four five six seven right oh my god can i not count it's nine minus two seven <laughs> but yeah that's a lot of shades so i think it turned out well i was like kind of scared i'm like oh my god it's not looking good to me but it turned out good and then the lashes i used where the heart look at i mean i'm obsessed with this packaging i just want to show it off and user error when i like pulled one off i pulled it like psh, ripped it so i cut both to make it even it's a good thing my eyes were small because it worked and i think the lashes went really well with this look so now off to my face makeup so i'm gonna use the blush from sugar pill okay and look at these eyeshadows compared the pan size compared to the Elaine Cosmetics. So it's a pretty good size of eyeshadow, you know, the pans. So pretty happy about that. And the foundation I'm going to be using is the Denissa Mavericks one. We found this indie brand. I wanted to try a foundation because I saw how it looked on the models. I'm like, is this good? So I bought it. It's called Vision Cream Cover. I swear it looks good on camera in real life and in the sun it's it's beautiful like i have to use it and i'm also gonna try the cream bronzer i think i only put a little bit on because i was scared how to use cream uh, bronzer but we're gonna use it today hopefully turn out good so let's get to it okay so this foundation like oh my gosh i'm breaking out i don't know why boom covered it and sometimes I don't even put concealer because this covers up so well. But I'm going to put a little brightness because I haven't been sleeping. Um, I've been staying up, you know. Now I want to try the bronzer. Oh, I also did the LA uh, Pro Concealer. I was skeptical about this. But it actually goes good on my under eyes and brightens them up with the color I chose. So I'm going to try this bronzer and then I'll set it with powder or I don't know. I like to use this, which the top broke off, the Flower Beauty uh, bronzer. Um, one of my favorites, the luminous one called Sunswept, but they have limited shades. So I'm just trying to pan it, get away with it, try other bronzers. Um, like I said, I don't have my Midas Cosmetics and the Neon MUA Contour Palette, so I can't use it right now, but I think I'm going to try this, um, RT brush. It's called a Expert Face Brush because it's a cream. I feel like you need a denser brush. So here we go. I'm going to try it. I like to go higher just because I'm a chunky monkey and I want to thin my face out so wow that blended like and i actually got a good shade i think this is medium one for my skin tone wow you see i wonder if this blends the same that blended well i'm just like making sure i go so much down i wonder if this is like works out i heard that charlotte charlotte tilbury one like people put it on there oh my god it blends out so well this one does too now I wonder if I can build up. Oh yeah. It's not lifting up my foundation. It looks pretty good. My forehead's already small, so I just put like contour actually shortens it out, but 
I like to put bronzer all the way up here. Wow. Do you see the difference with this bronzer? Oh, God. oh my God. User error again. There's a little bit of foundation on this. FYI, I don't even wet this uh, sponge. I just use it dry now. I don't think I wet any of my sponges anymore where I put that um, foundation or BB cream on with my fingers. This LA sponge is very soft and very cheap, so. I think I'll put a little bit on my nose. Like, I feel like I have a big nose and I really want to hide it and I just like put a bunch of bronzer on it. Wow, I'm, I think I'm liking cream bronzers now, I think. I'm a believer. I think I like this. That's two products. I love, actually three because I got the color fix that go on your lips and your eyes and your cheeks. Those last forever. She has beautiful shades. They actually blend well. So that's three products I like. I love this brand. Love it. Love it. Okay. So I set my face with two different powders. I literally have that the air spun powder and i do not uh, bake under my eyes i bake my nose because i have a really greasy nose i bake like that to do my line because i didn't contour on my nose and i bake like under here because i have the most embarrassing oh my god i'm making a mess on my shirt i have the most embarrassing sweat i sweat on my upper lip but i'm too scared to get um botox okay so i actually use the fit me powder and I put it on the bronzer like this side because I'm like obsessed with not getting um, flashback. And I feel like if I use the airspin all over my face, I might get it even though it hasn't really, it, I don't get flashback. I just have this fear of getting flashback. And again, I don't bake under my eyes. So I like lightly brush. Put some on and then I'll brush it off. And my forehead, I just go like this. I don't have such a greasy forehead. I have a greasy nose. Just make sure all of it, I like to make sure all of it's powdered because I don't want to have stuff stick. Sometimes when I put powder on um, the foundation or bronzer, if it's all wet, it's just, nope. So then I just brush that off, but not my nose. I brush it off everywhere else. Okay. And I know I look crazy right now. Oh my god, my shirt. Ignore my shirt. I'm very messy. Next, I like to put a lot of blush. And I put blush almost all the way up to my eye. Um, so here we go. I really don't know where my likely makeup blush palette is. I had the fairy blush. I love the two shades in there. I feel like the other shades, um, they're more for like fantasy looks not for me like every day but i can when i go shopping or something i will wear this look i don't care i will wear it and i have crazy clothes on like sweats i'll wear this look so like maybe a fantasy look let's go to the store just for no reason okay so like i literally put the blush all the way i feel like it looks very nice it has a lifting of your face almost that's how I just been doing it. I'm, I'm gonna just put lip liner. This one's so used. I don't even know the name of it. Wow. I'll find it. I know it's Remo. I like, I like pencil lip liners. Not the ones that are like Kylie. I don't know what it is, but when you sharpen it, it like comes out or it slides down. I don't like it. I think this shade will go good. This look, and I overdraw my lips on top and slightly on bottom. So, for highlight, usually I don't put highlight. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like sometimes I don't need it because I I'm oily. So I feel like it comes through and I'm already oily. 
but I do like highlight um, that's colorful and if it looks really nice and finely milled I think a long time ago I used to always wear the Anastasia butterscotch one and a Lorac highlight there's actually two in this palette a Pirates of the Caribbean palette that I got for my birthday and I'm like a Pirates of the Caribbean palette I was like really wanting to hate it and then I tried it I'm like the formulas were amazing so now I definitely want to try the alien cosmetics highlight palette low light I believe now this was formulated um, the cosmetics brand said for deeper skin tones and it works for all skin tones I believe so um, I know my niece I swatched this on my niece's face and she's of a deep complexion it looks so beautiful so I want to try the comet shade because I think it'll go good with the milkshake and pink and I'm using this um, Gata brush from Melt Cosmetics this is beautiful this is a beautiful oh my oh my god I think I put too much I think I put too much can you see that let me like get the bottom of the brush <laughs> Okay, I'm like, um, sister, my little sister is behind the camera. I'm like, does that look, can you see that? Because it looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love the pink. See, in the pan, I don't know how to explain it. Looks like a, it's a shifter. The Comet shade, I don't know, it has like a gold pink tint. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I like the shift on that. That, I could put some highlight here. Mmm. And of course, let me dust myself off because nobody told me I still have freaking powder on my nose. I look crazy. Okay. And that's the end. I hope you like this look. I think it came out good for me just winging it. And um, I really like, I mean, Alien Cosmetics, the highlight was amazing. There's a lot of product. Look, I mean, the pens are huge. So I feel like when I bought this, it's worth it. It'll last me a long time and I'll definitely try to use it up and pan it. Just the art on the palettes and the shades in this, I feel like it was a big, like, good call. Good call for the, the brand and the people picking these shades out. The formula, it's soft, I'm telling you. If you put your hand in there, it's soft. And the next thing I have to try, I got a whole multi-chrome palette from them. And I was just swatching them and we did um, swatches on our Instagram. Um, they were so soft and like colors I've never seen before. So I'm definitely going to want to try that out. This, this is a Myrix. This bronzer is amazing. I'm going to keep using it. The foundation, obviously, uh, that's my go-to number one foundation. I'm not using any other foundations. Just like a BB cream when I'm like, don't want to wear makeup. Um, I also use on my face, Wet n Wild, um, this new primer the impossible primer actually worked pretty good it made my face feel really soft too so i love that and the sugar pearl blush i will see how it looks throughout the day i didn't spray my face um because i have no setting spray i have to buy some i'm trying to use up as many things as possible i don't want to be wasteful i do like this concealer now this la concealer i'm like what how did i not how did i not use this before but overall, I loved what I got and I think the look came out amazing. So I hope that that helped. I hope um, you can try this out, these indie brands, because this good formulas, um, they put time and effort. And I think I had good uh, fast shipping on both uh, Dennis and Myricks and Alien Cosmetics. And we'll have everything down below of what I used. and. Um, what else? Oh, good customer service. So I like any brands. They like care and put a lot of effort into their products. Most of them, I'm not saying all of them. And sometimes high ends, I feel like it's so distant and um, kind of like turned me off on like all their service and all that. So then we went into the world of indie makeup and it's like a really like a family connection, like a, like a cool love connection. Like they ask and they ask their like everybody around them like oh what do you think about this and sometimes it's like amazing to see that and like sometimes they make their own palettes by hand i think i bought a palette from an indie brand i want to say 
uh, makeup slave like they made the whole palette the art you could tell it was homemade and I'm like I love that stuff so I'm here just to say you need to try more indie brands and use up all the makeup and I'll see y'all later motivators I hope that you love this video and we're gonna be back even sooner than you thought okay not like a month okay we're gonna come back real soon bye